Hey guys, Glenn here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all the filaments that I currently use in my 3D print farm. Uh, talk to you about pricing, talk to you about, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, uh, you know, issues with certain filaments and the pluses and minuses of them all. I'm just going to uh, kind of just have a talking head video about why I use certain filaments. Certain ones are consistent, certain ones are just really too cheap to pass up. There are all kinds of different things. I'm going to have affiliate links down below if you're interested in buying anything that I use. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go over PLA filament today. Let's, we're gonna start over at the, the red, okay? First, Inland Red, that's what I've been using lately. The JL Red that I was using was cheaper, but the problem was it was, it was too translucent, and the only problem that I have with these is the first couple feet or two, for some reason, break. I feel like they have an issue with their machines that when it cuts the line, it kind of nicks the line a couple feet later. Um, I'm assuming that's what it is. It's some kind. Of, so that's 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 every single inland filament that I have experienced. It has that problem off and on, maybe 30%, something like that. So just be aware of that. But um, it's consistent other than that. So that's why I use inland. Is I use red inland. Brown inland. It's also because brown is kind of like in the middle of the rows, not too dark, not too light. Uh, so I can get away with just selling one brown. Pink inland as well. Um, and then I also use purple inland. Same thing, it's not too dark, not too bright. Now, silver. This is an inland silver. You want to be careful with inland because they'll call things silver, as you can see here. But the problem is. Um, it's really not silver. I mean, it, it's not shiny, okay? So it's gonna have to say silk or something like that. Um, but I've gotten silver inland and gold inland. Gold inland is literally just yellow. So keep that in mind if you want a gold inland. It, you're just gonna get yellow from that, uh, which is stupid. Um, I also have, so this is the silver. I have this silver, which you can't tell by the box, but it, this is King Groon. It's, it's terrible. So there, there's King Groon that is great. And then there's terrible King Garoon, like the black and the silver. I would not recommend these. It's it's really shitty filament. Now, uh, currently, I just ordered a whole bunch of gold. So right now, I have this. I forgot the name. I'm going to have to bring that up. Uh, Yee Yee Gold. I'm going to do a review on this in a couple days, uh, as well as six other six or seven or eight different uh, gold filaments. I'm going to compare them all. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you want to see that. But uh, this is Sunlu. This is JO. It's the same thing at the moment. I was using these primarily. They increased their pricing, so I'm going elsewhere. Now let's go over to um, the blacks and the whites. Now I have enough room on here for all these rows of blacks and all these rows of whites because this is the the most, I go through black and white the most out of all the filaments. So I want a lot of space and a lot of times I'll, I'll buy a whole bunch of J.O. or Sun Lu um, and then they'll increase their pricing and then I'll have to get like something cheap or try a bunch of different cheap ones. Um, and you'll see like the best black, for instance, I have a video on that. Um, but these things are subject to change because they're always changing their pricing. As soon as I come out with a video saying that it's a good filament, everyone goes and buys that filament and then the, the price increases. But this I got for like 17 bucks right now. This is Sunlu. It's the same thing as JO. The difference, um, JO and Sunlu, you want to buy in bulk batches because once you buy one, the next week, it's going to be a different sheen. It's going to be kind of a different black. So if you try, to, if you run out of black on this roll and then you go to open another one, it's not going to match. So keep that in mind with the blacks, especially white. I've been using King Groon at the moment. Uh, it's the cheapest that I can find that's actually consistent, which is um, kind of interesting. So right there, King Groon. Now let's go over to marble. I um, I have to order more marble, and I'm still doing an experiment. I'm going to order a whole bunch of and do the same thing with like what the best black PLA is and what the best gold PLA is. Um, so this filament will be tested. I currently have in stock, I have JO. This is JO. This is RBD. Uh, I don't recommend this. It did not stick to the bed very well at all. Um, if you're doing very, very small things that you don't have to worry about bed adhesion, then you can get this because it was super cheap. Um, on Amazon. However, um, I don't recommend it. It was just too much of a pain in the ass. So, and then I have Inland, which I'm currently experimenting with that. And I also have down here, 
I have uh, Polyterra. Now the Polyterra is pretty good. The um, the only problem is it's a little fuzzy. Um, I know people always have a problem when I say it's fuzzy, but certain filaments are more coarse. It's not like a a plastic that is how do I describe this? Um, you know, a smooth plastic. Uh, most most filaments you get are going to be smooth. This is like coarse. So if you rub on it, uh, it feels more fuzzy to me. I don't know. But um, it, it the problem is it's the layer adhesion is not too good. Um, the bed adhesion is all right. But the layer adhesion, if you're doing anything that requires a part that needs to be pretty strong, I, I wouldn't get the Polyterra. Um, if you're just doing art pieces that don't have any very thin parts, then you can get the Polyterra and it's relatively cheap. That's the marble filament. Now, I have so many Prusa filaments, um, Prusa silvers, and there is two different ones they are slightly different. There's galaxy silver and, and regular silver uh, right up there. Um, so I, I get them with free with Prusa printers and I keep on ordering them. So I, I just, I can't go through these enough. And I, I feel like it's, it's such a good filament that I try not to use it up too much on customers, but I'm just gonna keep on, I might as well just start using it because it's, I can't get rid of it. This is uh, another, this is gray from King Groon. I have not tried this yet. I'll do a uh, update video. This is the silver King Groon that I've been using. It's terrible. Um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really on a budget and it's just for like, just for a part or something that no one cares what it looks like. Behind here I have J.O. That is J.O. Gray. That is possibly the worst filament I ever had, except it was like $12 on Amazon or $15. It depends on, the, it goes back and forth. So it's kind of hard not to justify it. As long as you have the time to clean up the prints um, and they're not like supposed to be really beautiful prints, then uh, I get that. But um, J.O. Gray, is, it, it's, it's, a, it's very strange filament. So it'll actually get brittle. Actually right here, this is one that I'm using right now. So um, it, it'll, it'll break like right here if it just sits there for a while. It's very strange how it, how it just breaks by not doing anything. So you have to keep these. Uh, I keep these in these boxes. I have a video on how I keep my stuff dry. So if you don't keep them in these boxes, you're, they're gonna be so brittle that you barely can use them. It's terrible. All right, so let's go on to orange. Orange, you have to be very careful with some of these. A lot of companies try to sell you um, like 0.5 or 0.65 of a kilogram, which is like this. J.O. does this to me all the time and I freaking fall for it. And you're buying these for super expensive. So don't fall for that. Make sure it says one kilogram. Uh, anything less than that is a complete rip off. But I bought a whole bunch of them and I didn't feel like returning them, so I used them. It's okay, it's a little translucent. However, I will not be buying this again unless they give me a really good deal on it. Now, the better orange, it's not like super translucent, is um, the Inland. It's, it's a great orange. If you can get a good deal on it, definitely get that. Um, I haven't played with too many oranges because a lot of them are just expensive. So I just go for the cheapest one uh, generally and they, they, they are all pretty good. But um, J.O. is not the best. I, I would go with the Inland. Now, here I have a bunch of yellows. Uh, they're all Inland um, at the moment. So I have uh, PLA Pro Inland. This one is uh, just, just as yellow. This stuff sucks. It, it has no, layer adhesion is terrible. So it, it's very brittle. You're gonna, it's just gonna break if it's apart or something like that or very flimsy anything. Unless you're doing something really, really rigid that you don't have to worry about it being strong. Okay, this garbage is terrible. Now, the next thing, I gotta use up all this pro crap. This is the yellow I'm using right now. Uh, this is just regular yellow from Inland, and it's also a totally different color. You can see the color is much more vibrant yellow. This is more of like a dull yellow, a whitish yellow versus an orangish yellow. So I would recommend getting this because you can act, it's strong enough. So whatever I buy, I can't use this crap because I, I do so many different prints that might be brittle and it can't be brittle like this. I'm gonna use this up on the prints that I can, like some prints that are rigid and don't require any kind of force or something, I can use them. 
but it's a pain in the butt because I'd rather just hold one thing because if I run out halfway through a print, I don't want to like be like, oh, which yellow is it? I got to check the yellow. If I don't have enough yellow, I got to stop it and, and complete it in, in a different yellow. So I try to stock up on all the same color of the same yellow if I can. But yellow is not a very popular color. So I, if you had a shop, you might not even want to sell anything that's yellow. Now blue. Currently I have in stock, I have J.O. This is J.O. And then I have King Grune. Um, I'm currently buying a lot of King Grune and going through these every week because this is the best blue for the bang for the buck at the moment. Uh, as soon as people start buying it, I'm sure that uh, it's not gonna be anymore. Um, I have a couple different brands in there I haven't tested yet. Stay tuned for the testing of um, the best blue that I could find there in 20 bucks. Now, uh, green. Green I also do inland at the moment. I know you, like, you see a lot of inland. They're, it's just a consistent brand for a lot of their colors. Some of their colors suck. Black inland, I just finally got rid of. I don't like it. It's, the problem with black inland is it's going to have, I don't have any prints to show you, but right now it's, it's like, uh, when it prints out, it could be like shiny and then flat and then shiny and flat and it looks like crap. So I actually use J.O. and Sunlu Black um, the most and it's also like a good enough price. If you can get J.O. or Sunlu under $20, it's a good price for the J.O. Sunlu because it's actually, it's actually good. But just the black though, you know, other colors, it all depends. Currently for um, the skin tone or tan or Caucasian, if you want to call it, <laughs> I'm using King Groon. Uh, King Groon is um, pretty good. It's consistent, it's cheap. Uh, so um, I'm gonna probably have a video just on this skin tone because there's so many different I bet you people would like that uh, so they can match certain things But I use this for for hands and stuff like that that I have to print so So that's what I currently have in stock um, Just PLA. I have other PLA's that um, I don't really use too much um, that are in storage uh, like this down here But I'm not really gonna go over that too much because um, it's not what I'm using in my print shop currently. So I figured you guys would wanna know what I use in my print shop. Um, currently, I'm gonna have to redo this every six months to a year. Probably every six months I'll have to show you what I'm currently using because the prices change. You know, I've, I've been promoting JL for a while, uh, not actually getting paid for it, but besides for affiliate links. but. Um, J.O. it keeps on going up in price and I'm not sure if that's because of their marketing or because people like me say J.O. is good. Let me know if you guys have any questions in, in the comments. Uh, I'd love to answer them. Tell me what filament you want me to try and experiment. I'm, I'm trying to do a series of best black filaments, the black, best gold filament. I already have the best black filaments out. I'm going to, or best black PLA out. Um, I'm going to do a gold uh, in about two days, so stay tuned for that video uh, once it comes out. Uh, it might take me a more, couple more days to make, but um, I do have all the filament uh, coming to me. Um, and it's all stuff you can buy right on Amazon, uh, so it's easy to source. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watch this video next. Have a great day.